Time to clear up some misconceptions on coconut oil and weight loss. So coconut oil is often used for its medium chain triglyceride or MCT content. Alternatively, some people just buy pure MCT oil. And in standard fitness industry form, when a food comes into fashion, it tends to get a little bit of a health halo effect where people get overexcited with just how magical this food is. And coconut oil is being promoted as the fat that burns body fat. Now, it is true that there is evidence to support that MCTs can raise energy expenditure, suppress appetite, and help promote weight loss. Firstly, the appetite suppression mechanism isn't well understood, and it's possible that this could be explained at least in part, by some people feeling nauseous when they consume a high amount of MCT oil. Secondly, it is really important to note that in weight loss trials, MCTs are compared to alternative fats, such as soybean oil, canola oil, beef fat, or olive oil. And why does this matter? Because it supports the idea that MCTs might have a favorable weight loss effect when compared to something else. It does not support the idea that you can start adding extra MCTs into your diet, expecting your weight loss to supercharge. And realistically, what weight loss can we actually expect? So one meta-analysis comparing MCTs MCTs to LCTs found a pooled weight loss difference of just 0.51 kilos over a 10 week period. Another meta-analysis found 0.69 kilos weight loss difference. And on top of that, they concluded that greater weight loss was seen in trials with smaller, not larger doses. And greater weight loss was seen in trials with a commercial bias. So by all means, feel free to replace some existing fats in your diet with MCTs, hoping that you might see a tiny amount of extra weight loss. But if you keep your existing diet the same and start adding tablespoons of coconut oil into your coffee and expect to get rapid weight loss, you're going to be in for a bad time. Sorry about that.